Hello and welcome to episode 3 of our 4 day game of hide and seek across Switzerland. Right now, Adam and I are looking for Ben based on a few key pieces of information. He's hiding somewhere in this blob, in a canton that did not vote for the center party, that is near a lake, that rhymes with one of these five words, and has a train station that looks like this. After wasting quite a bit of time last episode looking for Ben in the Zug area, thanks to him sending tricky rhyming words, Adam and I believe we might have finally tracked him down in the town of Steinen. So now we're arriving there, hoping to see a train station that matches this photo. Well, already it seems slightly more promising. Although very modern. Yeah, now it's seeming less promising. No. 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 All right. Mm. Oh, man. Where could he be? <laughs> okay, I actually think that I might have found the perfect hiding spot. So, if you go through this, cute little tunnel. Um, you get spat out in this like very secluded public pavilion. It's got a playground down here that you can't see from anywhere else in town. Like it's completely surrounded. I mean, I've been walking around this town for legit like hours and I have not even caught a glimpse of this playground. It's like a secret playground. I think this might be the move. It's not looking great. No. Oh, this, uh, yeah, this, the station is so modern. He's not here. There's no way. I mean, last round felt pretty simple, and now I'm realizing just how complicated this game can be. I keep thinking that they know exactly where I am and that they're about to come get me, but I am starting to think that they might not know where I am at all. You're, uh, you're fumbling the bag, boys. You're fumbling the bag. This was, this was supposed to be a bad run on my part. This was supposed to be a, a damn disaster. Look at that little uh, timer graphic. Look at it tick up. That's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty cool. Is that the high score? Yeah, I think that's the high score. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the high score right now. Ouch. I think we need a question. I think there might be some logic to a, to a radar. I mean, if we did 25, that would encompass this entire region. I just, I still think he's here. Well, we should confirm at this point, I, I think. I guess. And I, I agree, it's like, I, I don't want to spend that much, but like, it's much better to spend that much now than spend the next couple hours looking in the wrong area of the country. Yeah, I guess. All right. Okay, um, they've just uh, deployed a 25-mile radar, which is interesting. It, it is a hit. They're, they're within 25 miles of me. That makes me think that they're not very confident about where I might be. Um, because obviously, like, if they have figured out that I am here, then they would just come here. We'll see. All right, well, he's within 25 miles. Oh, interesting. Great. Well... I mean, I kind of feel like we already knew that, but... I guess good to know for sure. Okay. Where the hell is he? Rug awaken boxcar again claim. After some more looking, we realized the next town over, Seawin, fit all the parameters. It was within the still viable zone, rhymed with awaken, had no town hall, and was definitely close enough to the lake. So we decided to go check it out. I mean, it's very pretty. Oh, yeah. It's the type of place Ben would go. There's gravel mm -hmm. on the sides of this. Mm, I don't know. Well, that makes sense to get off regardless. Well, let's check it out. Yeah, maybe it doesn't look like it. Doesn't seem like it. Could it be, like, does not seem like it. Okay, well, I'm definitely not seeing anything that looks like that photo. No, That's it's nice. definitely not here. Oh. It's probably creepy for me to be on the swing. I shouldn't be on the swing. That's not good. 
Now that it was clear Ben couldn't be anywhere on this lake, we went back to the drawing board searching for other candidates. I'm just trying to figure out, like, let me pull up some of my maps. The Vist now wouldn't rhyme. Again and Awaken basically rhyme, so it's weird he put them both in. Mm -hmm. He's not at Washwell, he's not at Horndley. Shamletton? Is that on the west side? Yeah. What about Fluellen? Despite scouring the map, we couldn't find anywhere that fit all the parameters. So, faced with no other options, we decided we had no choice but to head back up to the stations around Zug to see if there was something we'd missed. So you think he's... I think he was just in Zug all along? I mean, it seems unlikely, but like, I just don't see other good candidates. Are they, are they going back to Zug? Oh, boys. Okay, all right. Fuck it, I'm gonna go get lunch. This is gonna take a while. Oh, Jesus. On our way up to Zug, we decided to ask Ben for a picture of the tallest mountain he could see. Our logic was that he'd have to shoot across the lake, meaning by looking at his angle of the mountain, we could determine his position on the lake. Of course, that assumed he was on our same lake. Okay, well, they've just asked me for a picture of the tallest mountain that I can see from where I am. And that's an interesting one. I don't really know why they asked that. So these are basically all the mountains you can see from here. And though that mountain is definitely the tallest, um, what we're supposed to do, the point of this question is like, what mountain is like highest up on your skyline, basically? So I have to send a picture of this one. And hopefully that doesn't give away too much. Okay, let's go ahead and send that picture to them and see what they make of it. Is this our third time here? Yeah, I think so. That's tough. All right, well, the photo of the mountain is useless because it's from his perspective and seemingly there's a mountain behind him. All right, well, let's research to see if we can find any other candidates. Yeah. Because we might just be missing one. Yeah, it's certainly possible. Okay, it's lunchtime. I don't know what this is, but it looked good. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so good. What is that? Someone in the comments, please tell me what this is, because it's so good. Oh my god. This is so exciting for me. I love this. Clock is ticking. I'm starting to think he's not on this lake. Well, there's only, there's only like two other options. After some more looking, we did find something we'd missed. You might have noticed this earlier because you have this neat little map, but we hadn't realized that while almost all of Lake Lucerne is in the Lucerne Canton, which we'd ruled out because of its political party, a very small part of it poked into the still eligible Schweiz Canton, meaning it was possible that was the lake Ben was on. Okay. The road pattern of Merrill Lushaken kind of fits, but it's not close enough to feel like a slam dunk. Okay, but one second. Kusnacht Amarigi doesn't rhyme. Merlis Shannon does. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Like, I assume you're looking at this thing here. Wait. No, I think this does match. Look, this thing. That totally matches that. Look at the bottom part. Look at these next to each other. What is this place called? Melis whatever? Merlis Channon. I mean, we would need some, to, to go all the way out there, we would need something much more conclusive. No, this is the, I think this is it. I really think this is it. Wait, wait, I'm gonna trace it. Okay. That's gotta be it. Mm, 
Come on. I mean, you can clearly. Uh, uh, it's pretty close. That's okay, it. Okay, well, let's 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 figure out whether or not there is something in that town that can like confirm it for us before we go there. And how about you do that? I'll... This just confirmed it for me. Look I guess that. I hadn't thought about orientation yet. Orientation fits right Look at that. It's exact. Yeah, actually, it's yeah. It's a now, perfect match. Now that I think about orientation, yeah, that is pretty clear. OK, seems like we have about 10 minutes until the next train option there. What platform, Sam? Uh, I think two. He's, I'm confident that he's there. The yeah. road pattern matches way too much. No, close. I mean, I, I agree. The road pattern feels like a slam dunk. The road pattern is a slam dunk. The road pattern is a slam and dunk. And it doesn't have a town hall. And wait, do we know what it rhymes with? Yeah, it rhymes with Awaken. Yeah, no, it feels, feels good. Merle sh... Merle... Mer... Merle shaken. Awaken. Yep. All right, well, it looks like Sam and Adam have left Zug once again, and they are heading back south. So maybe, finally, they have figured out where I am. Um, or at the very least, they have figured out the area that I'm in. It does seem like they're uh, not wasting any more time up in Zug. Now, I just have to see if they do end up taking that rail line uh, towards Lucerne, because if they do, they'll be heading towards me. This is the lake that we believe he's in a picture of. And I mean, I gotta tell you, that water looks like the picture he sent. It's like the same color, it's the same clarity, it's the same, like, it does match. No, I think the mountain's gonna be, oh, is that it? I think that might be it. And we, we have to round it more. This is looking good. Yeah, see, now we're at more of an angle, and now it fits. Feels, yeah. That feels definitive. That's the same mountain. All right. Well, Sam and Adam are finally on their way, which means it's time to go back to my hiding spot. <laughs> because if they get off their train here, then we enter the end game, and I want to be in my secret playground. Um, so now I just have to remember how to get back there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hide under the slide because it's raining. Okay, they're just about to pull into my station. Now the question is, are they gonna get off? All right, I think really quick before he can curse us, Sam asked for a photo. Okay. I don't know why he hasn't cursed us. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised by that. I hope we're in the right spot. Let's, let's see if we can find something that matches the photo. Is it the I, back of this thing? No. There it is. Is that it? That's it. Let's get his ass. Ladies and gentlemen, we got, we got him. him. Okay, they've just requested a uh, the photo of my face, um, which means that I think they know that I am here. So I gotta take a nice, good photo of my face. I guess let's head into the town, you know? Yeah. Oh, wait, that feels uh, pretty useful. What is that? <laughs> I don't know, but that feels like something that we would be able to find. Yeah, we can probably find that. Almost looks like, I don't know, like a playground slide, or I don't know, but... <sighs> I mean, he's got to be cursing us any minute. Why didn't he? No, I mean, I think that that's just a mistake. Gone ahead and sent them that photo, and now that we are in the short game, I think that it may finally be time to cast a curse. And we can afford three dice. So let's see what we get here. OK, 
Okay, that's a four, a one, and a three. That is eight. Cheese rolling curse. Before you ask your next question, in a single roll, roll cheese a distance of 30 feet. The cheese roll curse. Okay, well, you know what? That is probably pretty good, because that's, that's going to take them a little while to do it. And I think that they're going to have to ask at least another couple questions before they actually find me. <sighs> Go ahead and roll that cheese, boys. So I'm kind of trying to look out for those trees. Uh-huh. Along with whatever this yellow yeah, thing. It's like an orangish, semi-rusted... Okay, he cheese roll cursed us, but I think we just ignore it. That curse is that we have to do that before asking another question. I think it was a huge mistake for him not to do a curse earlier before we were in his zone and before we asked a precision question. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Black. Uh... I've been here. <laughs> Wait, you've been here? Yeah. I thought you found where he was. Why have you been here? I, I came here on my run from Lucerne when I, on Sunday. Okay, and, and here, here's what I was noticing. Okay, okay, I know this you is- You ran all... here from Lucerne? How yeah. far is this from Lucerne? It was uh, seven and a half miles out. I was, I was running by and I was thinking like, I wish we were filming right now because what are these? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out what these are. And I want the comment section to tell me. Still not the right spot, guys. No secret playgrounds there. Don't dilly-dally. Every minute matters. I have truly no idea it's even a so little bit. It's so baffling. Like, they have these little spinny things at the top? They're certainly not windmills. No. With the and like, I was things. thinking maybe lightning rods or something. Oh, that could be it. Maybe for this construction, but like, I've never seen that anywhere else. I would buy lightning rods. Anyway, comment section, please tell me. I'm so confused. Okay. Anyway. I, I remain a little bit skeptical that we can find him with just that info. Well, I think we... let's Let's do it. Let's kind of give the town a once over. Yeah, it's not big. All right, well, they're working their way towards me but I think they are no match for the secret playground. You know, you've gotten this far, but, but your, your hardest test still awaits you. Can you find the secret playground? I think the thing that I'm looking at is like, there's some pretty clear trees behind him that are only in some areas. So like, we know that he's not here. Yeah. Because we don't have trees like that. And it seems like the two options are that he's down by the water uh -huh. or up a bit. Yeah, I mean, that thing that's above him looks pretty distinctive. Yes, like once we see it, I think we're gonna be able to tell for sure. I think let's head down towards the water. Okay. And if it doesn't seem like it's like that, then maybe head up a bit. There's a playground here, because we thought it could be a playground. Okay, it looks like they're by a school. They're probably checking out if I'm at the, the playground by the school. I probably should have picked a less creepy hiding place than under a child's slide, but it's all about strategy, okay? I'm trying to win here. I'm trying to win a very important game. We can't worry about the way that this might look to strangers, okay? I need to not get found by two boys. No, slide is green. Well, we might be able to get a good view from here. Yeah. Unless, are we, are we, um, are we infiltrating a, a preschool? Uh, this might be a preschool. I think that it's fine. That is a preschool. It's fine. Oh, there are kids. There are okay. kids. Okay, yeah. let's... Nope, nope, nope. I think that they're trying to do this without asking another question so that they don't have to, to get rid of their curse, which uh, is a bold strategy. And I would argue probably not going to work. I think they're going to have to ask another question to find me. But... We'll see. I think let's check out the water view. But I feel good about the ability to identify this tree because I'm all of these trees like I'm immediately looking at and being like, it's not this tree. Because this tree is like uniquely pointy. I don't know. I mean, look, like a circle with a mile in diameter is still pretty big. Do you remember what exactly the parameters of that one is? Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet? Yeah. That's a lot. 30 foot roll. Uh, no, I want to keep looking, personally. Uh, well, the grocery store's closed until 2.30 anyway. Uh-oh. I still feel like this will be quicker. Okay. 
Because, like, look, there are only so many trees. Yeah, I mean, again, the tree, I'm less convinced by. I'm more convinced I mean, by that we can find a big orange that, rock. Well, that too, the combination. But like this tree, like look how pointy and upwards this tree is in comparison to all of these trees. Sure. Like it's a quite distinctive shape. Okay. You keep your eye out for the trees and I'm keeping my eye out for the orange thing. Well. I don't have a keen eye for trees. I think let's head up. Okay. Okay, they are getting closer. They're going up the right street. That worries me a little bit. Uh oh. Turn the wrong way. 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 Please turn the wrong way. Don't go towards me. Okay, okay. Okay, they went the wrong way. Actually, you like this path? path. Public accessible path, which would make sense for him to be on. Oh wow, this is interesting. It looks like they are checking the hiding place that I was gonna hide in before I found this playground. Okay, so I've been looking around town trying to find a good hiding spot. And as far as I can tell, the best hiding spot would be to lodge myself in that bush there, nice and good. Just really get up in there. Are you gonna find me in that bush? I don't think so. There's a slide. Yeah, but it's not that. I know, I'm just pointing it out. You know, honestly, just like, this playground here is not a crazy hiding space. This is pretty far up and pretty far out of the way too. Um, like, I think if I hid here, it would take them a decent while to find me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep looking. Let me Google, like, parks and, like, playgrounds, you know? Nothing comes up for playground. I, I assume probably not this one either, right? Nothing comes up for park. Yeah, it's too small, I yeah. think. Yeah, okay. So what's down this way? Well, I think we want to go this way. Okay. We have just passed hour seven, and they are still wandering aimlessly in the hills. One thing to also point out is that you can see the playground from Google Maps. So if they really scour Google Maps, the satellite, they should be able to figure out where I am. The, the one thing that I keep thinking is like, there are all these little cut throughs and paths and stuff. Uh -huh. And that would make a lot of sense of somewhere to hide. Uh -huh. Actually, you know what we haven't done? What? We haven't just looked at the satellite map for a big yellow thing. That's like, true. You can look, you can see that slide. But, Okay, this is interesting. The Google Maps satellite shows a different slide here. It's actually outdated. So if they use that, they might think that this isn't the playground. Oh. Oh. That's What's an area that? that we haven't looked at. Although I don't see trees. Oh, no, but the trees could be behind them. But they could be those trees. Yeah, it's kind of far though. And the How the far is it? Well, it's not too far, and it's the area we want to check out anyway. Let's head that way. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's anything that would match. No. But you'll notice you start to see the trees manicured in the right way. It's all in the trees, you see? The trees what? The trees. It's no, all, I know. It's all in the trees. Navigating mostly by trees and with the grocery store still closed, preventing us from clearing our curse, we continue to wander with less and less luck. In retrospect, I really should have picked a spot that I was willing to actually stay in for more than like five minutes uh, because the ground is so cold and I look so stupid. And if anyone shows up here, I mean, frankly, I don't know what the laws are here, but I feel like if you see a fully grown man just sitting under a slide, you should be able to kill him. So. Hopefully that doesn't happen. At a certain point, we should like ask a local. Yeah. We should be well. like, do you know what this is? Okay, they are getting closer. I mean, Sam is directly in front of that building. But I don't think that he can see the playground from there. 
I don't think that there's a way. In minutes, we can get our cheese and ask another question. So I think let's poke this way and then, and then get the cheese. Yeah. like they have passed me. Okay. Oh, that was a close call. They, they were like this close. Yeah, they were literally, they were just in front of these two buildings here. If those buildings weren't there, they would have caught me. Well, we have now taken long enough that the grocery store is back open from its lunch break, so we can probably clear our curse and ask some other additional questions. Uh, which seemingly we're gonna need to. Yeah, I mean... How have we not found him? This place is not big. All right, Sam. Jeez. I mean, this is a wheel. Yeah. Like that? Makes sense. Yeah. Let's do that. All right, how do you feel about your cheese rolling ability? I feel pretty good about mine for what it's worth. Here, this is pretty good. This would work. Yeah. Let's go with this. I feel extremely do you confident. Do it? I'll do it. You got to do the apple. I feel extremely confident. Okay. Here we go. Well, that was easy. Wait, get the cheese. <laughs> get the cheese. <laughs> no. No. I think now we just flood him with stuff. Which one would we want to do next? Let's get the letter that his nearest street starts with. Is that going to be useful? Most of the streets start with S or R, but I do think it would be useful. I mean, if you think so. Yeah, I mean, I it, would, it, would, it would exclude a lot. So it seems like they have finally gotten rid of their curse because uh, they just asked me for my street letter. We'll see what they do with that information. It's an S, okay. Um, there's a lot of S's. Well, there are a lot of S's. Okay, do we want to fire another one? Maybe. Well, well let's look. Okay, well, there's there's two key... There's... there's Stutstrats. Which we did look a good bit. And then there's... Then there's um this whole thing here. Which, like, we did... C-Plotzweg? Okay. Maybe let's just go check that out since we're so, so close. So, see C-Plotzweg? Yeah, we're so close. Okay, Lee, let's go check out C-Plotzweg. Doesn't seem like this fits, but I just no. want to be 100% sure. Sure is pretty. I mean, I don't see how he could be here. So yeah. let's check out that other one. Um, I think we checked here. Did we right. check, like, this path? Yeah, but that would be a different road. Because this is a different road, so that wouldn't hit here. Okay, it seems like they're going down the right street. But are they going to see the entrance to the playground? Because you can't see the playground from the street. I don't know. Maybe we'll try it. We'll see, this this might this might be about to be the end of my round. I think it's either this or there's another one here. Yeah, well there's also little poke outs over there, so let's circle back up yeah. and then come down these if I think we looked here. I'm pretty sure. No, we already checked here. We already checked both of those. And this is the end of Stutzstrasse. They went right past it. I mean, they went right past the entrance. Oh my god. I don't, I mean, I don't know how they're gonna find me. They're just gonna have to go back and, and notice it. Let's sit down on the bench for a second and figure out what next. Yeah. We're sure there's not just a very little bend under right. there. He's not the tallest guy in the world. We sat down to thoroughly scour Google Maps, but after 15 minutes of looking, came up empty. So we decided to buy some more information. We could ask how many minutes would it take for you to walk to your nearest train station. That's interesting. Let's ask that. The answer is only eight minutes, so now they know that I'm not up in the hills. You'd think that this would have helped us more, but it turns out not so much. So we sat down on another bench and asked another question. I just don't understand. 
I agree. I totally agree. Want the photo up? Just see if that gives us anything. Maybe there will be a building. I guess. But I mean, we have a pretty good upward angle. But I guess. The picture gave us some info on what Ben's nearby buildings look like, which got us close. It's like. <laughs> He's not in like a magical place. Like it's just a place. We should be able to find him. Green gods. But we once again missed the entrance by a few hundred feet. Maybe he just like, like we said, found a really unintuitive path somewhere. Yeah, he must have. Ben must be getting bored. So for a third time, we sat down on a bench to try to figure out what we could be missing. Maybe. Well, have we looked, Sam? Have we looked here? Uh, I can't tell what that is. That's there. I'm not sure. Mm, I think we have, but maybe not. Maybe. Maybe we should go check it out. Yeah. That's eight minutes. Look, that path says it's eight minutes. Okay. I think it might be that path. You want to check it out? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. We must just. This way? I think we might have missed it. It's, it's down this street. It's down and then it's over there, I think. That has to be it. <laughs> well, I, I feel like we've said that a lot Here, of times. we can cut down this way. Actually, look, cut down the other way. You know what's going to be uh, awesome is the motion graphic map that shows us walking like within 100 feet of it six times. You're getting awfully confident. So it's this one here? No, it's to the right. It's like around this bend, and then it's a left. Oh, I There's see. There's a hedge. There's a hedge. This, we haven't been down this. I don't think we've been down this. Oh, f I think it might fit. Smoke stacks. I think, it, I think it might fit. There's the, there's the damn slide. Oh my god. That f***ing guy. Hi. This sucked. Oh. All right, Ben, give me the dice. Yes. Right now. Yes. Uh, oh, I need more. You need more? I need more. Ambitious. This sucked. Yes. This, this sucked suck. so much. Uh, it sucked for me too. I was sitting under that sign yeah, for so long. Train um, I think you probably you want to go down and around. All right. See Good luck, Sam. We. Oh my God, dude. I hate this. Yeah. Well, that's the score to beat. Congratulations. Thank you. See I you. have a little surprise for you. Goodness. Look what I got. Hello, Worm Chin. I had really good fondue last night. This is awesome. Let's go right There's now. There's also like one restaurant in town, and it serves really good fondue. Let's go there, and then let's go to the hotel. Okay. We're talking about May. So we've been talking about tomorrow. The situation is we really need to find Sam. If we don't find Sam tomorrow, then we both lose because that'll mean that his run is longer than my run, and that Adam won't get another run because in order to, to get a longer run than him, it would be one half before the end of the game, so the game should be over. So we have to find him. Well, I've arrived in what I think is going to be quite the annoying spot for a bunch of reasons, all of which I'll explain in the morning. Good night. All right, look, the stakes are simple. If we don't catch Sam tomorrow, the game ends and he wins. Is that what's going to happen? You could find out right now on Nebula because next episode is up right now on Nebula, just like every week because every episode of Jetlag goes up one week early on Nebula. And in addition to watching next episode right now, you can also listen to our 
After Show podcast, The Layover, where we get into the behind the scenes. We dive into our strategy, and you're going to want to hear a little bit about our strategy next round because it's going to get really important. And I think that we've we've got a you know we've got a distinct strategy. Uh, and you'll find out what it is next episode. Again, you could find out right now on Nebula. And we talk about it even more on the layover. So, something to entice you. Something to entice you. Are you enticed? If you're not enticed, you might want to know that there's a whole bunch more amazing stuff on Nebula from all of your favorite creators. We got Brian from Real Engineering, you might remember him from the show. We got Joseph from Real Life Lore, you might remember him from the show. We got Toby from the show. She's on there. She's talking about Matt. Scotty's on the show also and on Nebula as well. You got all of your favorite creators making original content on here and people, guess what? It doesn't cost a million dollars. It's affordable. It's it's so dang affordable that it only costs thirty dollars for the whole year. The whole year? For the whole year, that's two fifty a month. But it only costs that if you use our code. If you go to nebula.tv/jellag, because if you don't use our code, then it's fifty dollars for the year, which is still a very good deal, but is more than thirty. And when you use our code, you're also helping to support the show because that tells Nebula that Jetlag sent you, and then we get a portion of your subscription for the whole time that you stay subscribed, which helps us to support the show and. That is good, theoretically. Hopefully, you would want us to keep making the show uh, if you're watching it. That's true. If so you, if theoretically, you... this is a win-win for everybody. True. You can fit so much content in this bad boy. Can we put? Okay, but I have an idea, and I want us to keep all this in. Okay. Post-production team, can you put a like a box that has Nebula on it here, and then watch what I'm gonna do? You can fit so much content in this bad boy. Well, that just sold me. Yeah. You know, the link's on screen. You can see it right there. Just go ahead and click on it. We, it would be really good if you did that. We would really like it if you did that. And if you didn't do it, we would be really sad. You can't say that. It would be, if you don't click on it, it's okay. But we would prefer it if you clicked on it. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that seems right. Mm. Okay. Well, Bye.